Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on Let's Play. I'm going to show you what I've been up to. I told you I was going to... Um, I think I left off last episode saying I was going to make a super smelter and stuff, but I decided I need an XP farm. Um, so that's what I went for next, is I went and built out the uh, the cave spider spawner that I... Gosh dang it, I need to take out that top. Uh, the cave spider spawner that I had mentioned last episode that we found while exploring the cave... The, uh, abandoned mine shaft. Uh, I decided to dig that out and actually make it into a case better spawner. So I got that done. Um, right before that, I went on a little. Uh, no, wrong way. I went on a little cave my uh, exploration of the uh, ca the mine shaft again. Got up to thirty three levels, and instead of going up and enchanting a couple, you know, doing a couple enchantments with because with thirty three you can do two enchantments. Instead of going up and doing those, I decided, oh, let's just make the case better spawner. Well, in the middle of it, I uh, messed something up, and as I was trying to fix the cave spider spawner, uh, the spiders kind of got through a little bit, and uh, yeah, <laughs> you can you you know a little thing called death happened, and I lost all my levels, and so I was like, gosh, dang it. Um, so this is just kind of annoying right now coming through all of this to get down here. What we will do, we have the coordinates. We're going to build a water stream going down, up and down water elevators, going up and down, um, at this location so that we can get in here much easier. But I just made it a little place. I, I kind of, you know, I don't want to just make holes in random places and make them. I want to kind of make each one, each place like it's an actual like little miniature base if you know let's turn off the key the sounds here um i want to actually make things like have a little bit of um look to them not that this looks great by any means right but it is like a little miniature little base here and the whole point of that is to make it so that in the future if i ever come back here or ever look at the world it's like hey this looks halfway decent it doesn't look just horrible and so that's kind of what I was going with here. I made everything uh, smooth stone and just, you know, kind of made it a little spacious. That's why I'm bringing the enchantment table down here. So it's like, oh, yeah, I had an enchantment table and so on and so forth. So uh, one, two, three, four, five. OK, I was like, uh oh, SpaghettiOs or three, four, five. We need 12 now. We need 15. There we go. So we are going to be able to enchant down here then too. So that's the whole point of bringing the enchantment table down here so we can do level 30 enchant. That's not supposed to go there. That's not supposed to go there either. <laughs> so we will keep doing the levels. The other bad thing that I realized that I don't have is, you know, I know a lot of people that have like multiple different tools and stuff to do enchantments. All I have is books. Um, I don't have enough resources to get to make di extra diamond swords like the diamond pickaxe and stuff like that to be able to do all this So we have been doing some work. That's for sure Look, this is what so this is what we got set up spider okay, spider farm working really well I have camped out <sighs> And done a lot uh, yesterday while I was working just had this thing AF can every 15 20 minutes or so would come in and slay the spiders and was just enchanting pretty much all day as you can see what we have got is and i also went uh strip mining once i got fortune um i was able to get a pickaxe go f get fortune and go that way but was got some pretty decent stuff going now diamond boots protection uh, unbreaking, depth strider protection on that, unbreaking, and you still need to get a protection on that. Uh, Aqua infinity protection, respiration, so doing pretty good there. The sword, um, fire aspect sharpness, unbreaking, sweeping edge, silk touch. I also have a fortune, um, two fortune, two silk touch actually too, just kind of have backups of these. I have another sword too, but it has knockback. Uh, the axe is weak right now. I need to get an unbreaking on that. I just, I, you know. I might actually have an unbreaking book now that I think about it. Protection. Oh, there's a protection book I was talking about. Uh, no, I do not have an unbreaking book. So those are those are the books I've left. Um, here's the other sword. Here's the fortune pickaxe. Here's the uh, my old fortune pickaxe. Just need to put a. Uh, or this one's my old fortune. So I guess I don't have another self touch, but I do have a self touch book. I think if I remember correctly. No, if I have a loot. Uh, 
fortune book. <laughs> so, but also have two fishing rods and I'm breaking lure three, luck of C3, two of those so that I can start fishing for mending books. I know I, I looked into mending a little bit and what's that, what that's all about. So I, it's, it seems like it's what everyone uses nowadays to use XP to um, heal or to repair your items. Uh, so I will be doing that, obviously. Just got to go do some fishing. So I'm going to be going down here. I got some other updates, if you want to say that. The, there's, there's a problem with this farm, though. And the tutorial I watched, if you want to say that, um, I talked about it. And I don't, I don't know if it was correct, but it, it said, it, you know, one thing with spider spa spawns is that they have problems with spiders climbing up here. And that happens every once in a while. Um, I don't know if it's something that can be fixed or not. It's something I got to kind of look into. But they do. And, and and what I think is happening is I think when that happens is if, if I, if I, it was happening a lot more when I had the knockback sword to where it was like once you knocked them back and they got, they, they were attacked, then they would start going back up. It was, it was, they would go up, climb up the walls. But, I have a lot less with this sword, but it still does happen with this sword. So I'm curious if the way that's built in there, if it going how it's built, it only comes in like three or four blocks. If it should rather come in like four or five blocks um, so that when you do attack, the knockback really doesn't take much effect. But that's here or there. So going to keep doing this for a little bit and we'll see you guys up on the surface. Look at this dude over here. Look at <laughs> I had no clue that those foxes attacked the chickens like that. Something happened where chickens somehow got out. Something I don't know what happened. But dude, this is hilarious. <laughs> he jumped so dang high. Look at that. Oh, wow. So what have you been doing? Oh, I've just been, you know, fishing. <laughs> just been sitting here fishing for a little bit of time. Really, one reason, one reason only, just procrastinating. <laughs> you know when you want to like do something and you're like ah, i really don't want to do that but i know that's like the next thing i want to do but you don't do it yeah, that's kind of where i'm at and that is <sighs> i want to go to like where i'm officially going to build base but it's like twenty thousand blocks away which means in the nether that's like <laughs> What's 20,000 divided by eight? Because it's an eight division block, right? So you're looking at like 2,500, 3,000 blocks of traveling in the nether. And like I said, I have to dig it out. Uh, and then you're like, well, should you just get some ender pearls and get to the top and, and do that? Or, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, anyways, not doing too bad on the fishing. Got some puffer fish, got a book with just sharpness on it, which I like. Got some name tags. Um, got this fishing rod, which I don't like the curse of vanishing. So that one's kind of gone, but I like the mending. Uh, the bend mending on the bow. So I can put that on, on this bow kind of. I think that will be the final um, thing for the bow. And then got some of these things. I looked into the, these Nautilus shells. Pretty cool what they, they do and what they're used for. Um, but yeah, I've, where, what I've kind of come to is I, I, I have a ice biome, snow ice biome kind of that's by a guardian, um, fortress, um, underwater fortress, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then also by a witch farm where a witch farm could be a where witch hut is. And so it's kind of like a nice little place, uh, that I've chosen to do my build. And, and it's a very specific reason, which is. I'm looking at building something like kind of in building inspiration from what I'm going to build based on uh, Wakanda from Avengers. So Wakanda obviously has like the, the area that's in like the glass, the glass, the, um, the grass plains and the city and whatever. Then they have the farming land off, off in another part and all that stuff. So you need plains, you need those open areas, but they also have the, um, the mountain men, right? that live up in the snowy mountain and all that stuff. So I wanted to make sure I have a snow biome to be able to do that with. Uh, I believe I'll have to terraform it a little bit and actually make like big mountains because I'm not on on 
extreme biome, uh, whatever that's called, generation. So I won't be able to get those extreme biomes, but we'll have to terraform it out and build it out a little bit. But so that's what I'm procrastinating on is going and actually traveling that distance because that is that's where the final the official base is going to be. I just have to make the travel and I don't know if I want to do it. <laughs> So if you remember the last episode, I mentioned the nether having so many ghasts. I just want to show you what I mean. Oh, there's a skeleton. But look at one, two, three. And what's up? See, <laughs> there's just so many of them. And I don't know, like I said, I don't know if that's new, but there's like, there's another like two or three over there if you guys didn't see them, where it's just like, there's so many of them. And I don't know if that's something like I'm in a certain biome that causes that or what, but um, we decided to go and do what we need to do to get to the area we want to go to. I'm just trying to figure out the coordinates. So this is the negative Z or not Z. Yeah. Negative X, Y, Z, negative Z, which is what I want. Oh no, that's going to positive Z. I need to go this way. I need to go across that. Dang it. Uh, maybe I'll dig up. And then negative 1350 in the X. So negative 1350 in the X is that way. So maybe I'll go that way, 1300 blocks, see if I can get anywhere and then go, um, well, not 1300, eight divided by that. So I'll, shoot, that's only a hundred something blocks. But then I have to go 21,000 in the overworld, which like I said, is like 2700 something like that blocks. So we are going to get there and see what we can do. <laughs> this is going to be fun. So that procrastinating that I talked about. <laughs> yeah, we did it. <laughs> it took forever. I had a little bit of issues. I only grabbed one pickaxe and I ran out about three. My durability ran out about 300 blocks away from my desired location. I had to go back to the overworld, find some diamonds, find some iron, make an anvil, repair my pickaxe, but we got it. So this now goes in the nether. What I ended up doing is I tried to trek through the soul sand and I was just getting obliterated, obliterated by the ghasts. Um, and I just, cause I just couldn't move fast enough and it was just, it was, they were becoming overwhelming. At one time I counted, I had 12 of them attacking me as I was trying to, it was just, so I was like, okay, once I got rid of them and got, was able to get away, I said, okay, we're digging up and we're doing this, just a tunnel at the top. So I'm up at Y121, which is, you have a pretty consistent roof here at Y121, um, places where there's gaps. <laughs> one time I actually, one block I, I didn't see, I didn't do no, that wasn't there. And I walked in it and I'm not even joking. I dropped and there was a cliff right there. And on that cliff, there was one block. I'm not even joking. Just one block that was jutting out. I landed on that one block about 25 blocks down. I was like, oh my gosh. Like, and underneath that was bed of lava. I would have lost everything. Everything would have been gone. I was like, oh my gosh. So I'm just going to. Now what I'm doing is I'm looking for uh, ender. I'm, I, I want to get some ender, an ender chest um, so that I can take two inventories at a time. And like, I know I could technically not do it this way, but um, this is, I probably could in the same amount of time, let's just say in the same basic amount of time, I probably could make the five or six trips it's going to take me to do this compared to only doing two if I have an ender chest or so. Um, but I want to do an ender chest. I need something I need to eventually get. I want to build the eye of enders so I can start getting to the end here soon to defeat the dragon and build an enderman farm. Um, so it's just a little bit of preparation on base move. And I think it's needing to be done. So when I get the blaze rods and can make the eye of enders, cause that's what it takes, right? Um, ender, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's what it takes. I need a crafting bench. Um, but when we get the blaze rods and get going, I'll let you know. So I decided to make one quick trip over here. This is the end at negative 20 or negative 170, negative 2600 on the Z. So, oops, wrong. So if we 
I, I decided I, I was going to go look for blaze rods. And then I was like, you know what? I, I probably want to find another fortress. That's relatively another thing. I'm in a soul sand Valley over here too. So soul sand Valley is where I was prior with all the ghasts. Same thing here. So <laughs> this is going to be uh, interesting. I might go that way. Cause I know like a hundred or 200 blocks that way. It's not a soul sand Valley. So let's go through this. I, I brought one inventory of stuff and said, figured might as well just, bring at least one inventory and then find blaze rods over here um and just kind of show you guys i should have brought a bed i didn't even think of that but this is exactly what i was expecting yeah where are they at so i just i just heard or heard i just um oh there's an enderman right yeah so i got i got six ender pearls which is good exactly what i need but this is exactly what I was expecting and wanting. So the generation, I ended up getting some nice big mountains. If I had further render distance on, you would see back there's really nice ones. And that's kind of where I'm thinking of um, when I think of Wakanda and the ice mountain. I think that one right back there would be just fine. But the other cool thing that I saw, oh, the other cool thing is look at this entrance to a cave. Right down here. That is a massive entrance. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's a massive entrance to a cave. So I, I think that's really cool to have just from an aesthetics point of view that I think we probably would be able to do something relatively cool with that. Um, ice biome, which, oh yes, I can't wait to go explore and get the blue ice and just kind of get everything going over here. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick show of this is the ice biome that I was expecting and wanting. And here's the plains biome, and it goes that way a little bit more. So exactly what I was expecting, exactly what I was wanting, and these guys are being annoying. So we were able to find another fortress, which is pretty good. And right away from where I came in, down the hall, just a little bit of ways, there's a blaze <laughs> blaze spawner. So I think we got the majority of what we need from, a, a, from a, another fortress. The only thing we don't have, obviously, that that I haven't found yet is uh, really, okay, right over here. There's all my torches. So I came down here. That's how close it was, and that's how quickly I found it. But we have to find the main part of this nether fortress for wither skulls and do wither skull farming. I know we got to, like, half slab out a lot of this to prevent spawning, except for the area that we want. I remember that from back in the day. So... This will, you know, you, it's like, you got what you want, now leave. But it's like, but I want to go explore. I want to find the more things. Okay, we're going to loot this chest, and then we're going to go back. Let's see what's in this chest real quick. Ooh, some horse armor. I have horse armor. Oh, I guess I might as well grab the leather. Or the, the leather. Oh, see, but it's like, oh, I can go loot more chests. And stuff is that a no that's a different chest okay i know they're oh diamond armor that's a new one i don't have horse di diamond horse armor okay let's leave <laughs> we got what we want we got the other chest now it's time to move and it's time to say goodbye <laughs> so we got everything here we got uh we got the ender chests the ender chest is full with all my enchantments and stuff from downstairs from the spider spawner we got the enchanting table got everything uh, brewing stand that we got from the village so on and so forth this is just basically stuff left food nothing fantastic i have a bunch of saddles already over there and i got a couple in there in the ender chest so that's good um that's kind of something i wanted to take that white glazed terracotta but you know whatever uh that book really isn't anything this has just what's left in it i already have a full stack of all of that stuff in there and that stuff from fishing that is worthless. I grabbed the things that are worthwhile. I grabbed a bed and now I tore apart all my farms, got all the hoppers from them, got all the redstone repeaters and comparators and everything from them. So now it is time to officially say goodbye and go off to our new base where we're gonna start making Wakanda. I'm really excited about this. It's gonna be, I have to go back. I'm gonna watch uh, Black Panther today and just kind of go back and look at Wakanda. I've been looking at pictures and stuff like that to kind of see things. And there's actually uh, something cool where someone has like a 3D drawing of Wakanda from like a top view. So you can kind of like 
see the layout of what it should be like. So I got some pretty good research done, got more I want to do because I want this thing to be cool. I want it to be big. I don't want it to just be small. Um, I want this thing to be big. And so my sort of first thought is I'm going to pick one structure to um, build as like a starting center point. And then from that point, um, after I get one good build, big build structure done, then I'm going to build a village around that structure. Because if you look at Wakanda, it's like a bunch of big buildings kind of popping up here and there. And then a bunch of small, like little house housing sort of things. Um, so that's where we're going to go. But that's going to conclude it for this episode, guys. Uh, we are going to, from this point forward, be building over in our new our new home. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want, it's always an option. Like the video, subscribe if you're still here. If you're still here, that is awesome. Um, otherwise, see you later.